Hello and hello and hello everybody! This is Angel Card Reading with Grace. I'm Grace and the reading is for February 2016 for the gorgeous signs of fire. Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Just in case you wonder <laughs> what is the crown again for? Oh, it stands for Happy Valentine's Day and also Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday to me, that's my birthday month. Happy Birthday to my son, love you. And all oh, Aquarians and Pisces, whoever celebrating the birthday in February. Also, let's don't forget, this is the leap year. February has 29 days. So happy birthday to those. Who are actually celebrating once in four years their birthday or anniversary or anything else going on in their lives. Also, in February we're starting a monkey year in Chinese astrology, so it's so much going on. Very quickly, the new moon is on the 8th of February in the sign of Aquarius. And on the 22nd, we have a full moon in Virgo, okay? And now, let's see what the angels will show us. What's for February 2016? Okay. Versus Aries, then Leo, and then Sag. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Ooh, starting all three of you with the Major Arcana. So it's going to be an important mo month of the universe telling you something or doing something. We're going to find out what. Now we're going to have the love card, since this is a Valentine's Day, we're going to have two cards for each sign. One card for the singles and the other for the couples. So let's see, first for the singles, then for the couples, for the singles and for the couples. Okay. And let's see what else is going on. Just to have a better overview. Okay, let's go here. Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna, each sign will have a message from the spirit world. Okay, your angels, your angels, uh, of course, guardian angels, um, fairies, the people who love you, and they already on the other side. Okay, for Aries, Leo, and Sag. Okay. Okay, let's start. Are you ready, my dear Aries? Okay, the very first card is the Hermit. So, it means, and it's number nine too. So, you really may be thinking about, about closing doors or opening for a change but change is in order for February, I see already. And you might, it might happen that you went uh, previously into some changes, some endings, something different, and now it's a need to go into your own shell and seek for your own light. Also, spiritual mentor, because spiritually you're evolving. 
So you need people like you, people who will um, show you the way. And also, I always see the light within, the intuition that is so important at this time. Take a break from a society, from especially the negative ones, okay, the complaining ones, the noise, um, and really pay attention to your own spiritual growth at this time. That's what is in the cards in order. For the singles, hey, flirt. The Valentine's Day is coming. Be lighthearted. Maybe this changes, which Hermit shows, um, puts you in a very somber or very uh, serious mood. Snap out of it, okay? Snap out of it. Um, the couples, forgiving and learning. So some... <laughs> Um, oh, as you the release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So, for some of you, you maybe got divorced, or you're going through a divorce, or you're thinking about divorce. Maybe you left, maybe you're trying to um, peace. So many of you going through some, uh, some definitely releasing of something or is a need to release and you know it so it's kind of Valentine Day Valentine's Day is coming but you um, you thinking should I get divorced or should I stay should I go what should I do um, and maybe you need to forgive your partner and release all that anger release all the bad memories from haunting you so for everybody it will be different but that's interesting you see and once you forgive that's okay but learn your lesson learn your lesson so the lesson you will take with you what you're gonna leave behind is anger and resentment okay okay <clears throat> So many of you, you see, that's why this hermit is showing in the reading. Many of you simply uh, don't know what to do. Again, being unable to make a decision, like a stalemate. Nothing is going on. I don't know. Should I go? Should I stay? And the worst what you can do, and some of you will do, is pretending that everything is hunky-dory, everything is great, big elephant in the room and we're gonna be pretending nothing is going on oh um go inside go inwards and really feel about it not so much think feel deep feel and you need energy healing you may be a healer you may pursue any energy healing um, seminars. My Reiki is on my website. Um, maybe you're interested. And you may also need some energy healing uh, work on you. Because it's so much forgiving, learning, stalemate, being not, not being able to make a decision. Definitely may be a problem with your chakras. So look into it and the message from the other side from the spirit world says support people come into your life for many different reasons some you learn from and then they move on why others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals others remain beside you throughout your entire life so some people come for a reason, some for a season, uh, and it's easier to forgive when you look at relationships from this perspective, because then you're not so much hurt anymore. Okay, maybe it was a karmic relationship. Maybe that person showed up 
to teach me something, maybe I taught him something. But once your uh, destiny as a couple is done, it's done and it's time to move on. Wish you the best Valentine's ever. Let's celebrate. This is non-alcoholic cider champagne, my favorite since I don't drink alcohol. Uh, let's toast to self-love. Let's love ourselves first before we embark on a new relationship path. Okay guys, I wish you a wonderful February, happy Valentine's Day, many kisses and healing hugs. And until the next time. Okay, my dear Leo, 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 what's for you? Let me take a look. The first one is the most important. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, very interesting. Wow. Oh, all right. The very first card, as for all fire signs this month, is a major arcana, the moon. And funny enough, for Aries was a, a nine, and for you is eighteen, which also comes to nine. Okay. So um, you will get an insight. If you still didn't in February, you will get. Meaning, you will know the truth. Maybe for a while you didn't. Maybe you pretended you didn't. Maybe you weren't sure. But boy, in February you will find out something. <laughs> something that you wanted to know for a long time. And don't be fearful, don't step in into worry because it's not going to help you. Um, you're going to have those, you know, those aha moments, those epiphanies. Wow, mm, now I know, which is wonderful. Now we have two cards for the singles and for the couples. So uh, for the singles, codependency. You may be addicted to coffee, you may be addicted to an alcohol or drugs, you may be addicted to smoking, there's so many Leos, you may be addicted to gamble, gambling, or you may be addicted to someone, okay, and you cannot go your own way, do your own thing, and be truly on your own life path, you know, serving your destiny, because you only looking how to help or how to be helped, how to be around someone or getting their advice, etc., etc. So watch out for it, because if you codependent on anything and you're single, you're not married, it's really not healthy to uh, get into a relationship. So unless you want to just stay there, and as long as you're going to be codependent, you're not going to find the right one. It's not going to happen. Because you're already clinging to someone or something. Very, very unhealthy. For the coupled ones, is the love yourself first. Uh, translation, Gracie translation, do not be a doormat. And stand your ground. Have your boundaries, okay? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And besides everything, you're not even that attractive. If the man or the woman knows that they can step all over you, you are a doormat. What can I say? I'm not gonna dwell on it. You guys know. In fact, codependency, I have a video that I made especially for this card, so please go to my uh, videos on YouTube and you will find out codependency. 
Um, <clears throat> for some of you, very happy home life. Okay, so you may be moving, you may be relocating, uh, you uh, may be having an addition to your home, or wonderful guests, or building a home, or selling a home, and decorating another one. So that's again one of my uh, one of my services on my website. You can check that out. I'm an international redesigner. Okay, and then now that was a good one. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong, says Archangel Michael. So, you may be that codependency and you cannot find somebody, maybe you even lost someone. Or you didn't love yourself enough and somebody left you, or you not on a good terms. Look, whatever, you see, you've done nothing wrong. So, either was that someone's fault or was karmic it was only to learn and to teach each other and move on the message from the spirit give back today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve it is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. So give back. Don't be the taker. Although Leo, Leo has a very generous heart. Uh, you, you may say many things about Leos, but uh, it's not that they don't want to give. They are givers. They have a huge heart, huge um, empathy. So it's interesting. Um, in February, simply the message from the Spirit Word is, don't think about what you're going to get, or if I give that person something for a Valentine's Day, Will I get something in return? For Julius, is not about getting, it's all about giving. The more you give, the more you will receive. And also, someone in your circle of relationships, your friends, family, needs help that month. Maybe he's alone, maybe he's heartbroken. I'll reach out to that person and help. And to those who need to love themselves first, happy Valentine's Day. Love you all. Many kisses and hugs. And see you next time. It's alcohol free, so you know. That's the healthy way. Okay, my dear my dear Sagittarians, <clears throat> let me look, let me look. It's all interesting for all the fire signs. You may even look all the fire signs because you all have some things in common as I can see. Okay, the very first card for every single one of you, Aries Leo, now you, is a major arcana and for you is ego. And ego is, first of all, is the illusion of being trapped. It's only illusion. Second of all, you may have choices in February that either is based on love or fear and worry. Choose a love. And the second thing may be a job, career, or even two different people. And either I go for pure love, or this is like more financially better, maybe more practical. Um, always choose love. Um, don't be fearful of worry. Don't pay too much importance on material items. That's the card, okay? The most important message for you, Sag. Now, 
four singles and then for the couple ones, different messages. For the singles, financial issues may be a factor right now in a relationship. So that tells me that either you don't have money and um, you don't have the ability to date, you're working, working, working hard. Or maybe you don't have a work and you worry how I'm going to find somebody I don't have at work or not enough job. I, I got to focus on that. Or maybe you have too much money and you're worrying um, how that's going to work. Maybe somebody will be with me for the money. You see, everybody it will be different. Uh, the couples, it's time to release that X. So you may be still dwelling on something like oh, I would like to have him back now it's Valentine's Day and I'm alone or you angry you you happy that you not with that partner anymore but at the same time you 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 feel either angry or tired you see she she needs to clear her energy man big time Okay, because it just was too much. And it's time to release the past. Forgive, let go, and clear your energy, okay? But don't worry, because the second half of the month, things will look up for you. If you're taking a trip, wonderful. If you're not taking a trip, maybe even a long trip, you should. Because it really will give you a new perspective. It's very good for you. If you're worrying about home, once you may be taking a trip, don't worry. Everything is going to be safe, nice, no worries. The message from the Spirit World for February is gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you will start to attract prosperity and abundance. That shows me that maybe this ego first card, this release, you are, uh, and clear your energy, and this finances, this worries, maybe was even brought by your negative attitude. Maybe you truly attracted to yourself all those problems. So change your attitude and everything is going to be okay be more grateful for what you have instead of focusing on what you don't my dear Sag. so lots of love i'm celebrating to with every sign to self-love for february 2016. let's love ourselves so much that first of all we're not desperate for a partner a lover and we're simply happy for who we are, what we have, and if we need to learn more or get more, then just go for it. Love you all. Hugs and kisses. And see you next month.